If you are a project manager, let me guess what you hate to do the most. You hate create meeting notes. I hate that too, but meeting notes are important. It keeps people accountable. You need to track things. You need to make sure that whatever you decided are captured and it's unavoidable. So today we're gonna figure out how to do it the most easiest way using Confluence. Let's do it. Hey guys, welcome to The Financial. This is Anatoly. Today I'm reviewing an amazing app called Mythical. I wanna thank Mythical for sponsoring this video. I reach out to them and they say, please review it and I really, really appreciate that. So let's get started. I'm in my Confluence page, it's empty Confluence. I have only one page. I created this Mythical parent label to show that this will be parent for all my meetings. I don't have to create parent uh, structure anymore. It will all put my meetings right all there, which is very, very cool. Let me show how it works. So if you're a project manager, you probably work a lot with calendars. I have Google Calendar here, but it works with Microsoft 365 as well. And uh, as you see, it's completely empty and I can go and I can create a meeting. So let's say I have 101 with John and I'll create it here. I say one on one with John. And then I just add a guest. And that is it. Uh, let's save this. Not sending it to John. And now let's say I would like to create Confluence page from this. I can click on it. And look, I have add a Confluence page right from here. I click on that. I select my space where I want to put it. I select my parent because you can have multiple parents and I select the template. They provide an amazing template. You can have your own template if you want, but I really like theirs. I'll show you it in a second. Then you can add page link and event description. So everybody knows what, um, what Confluence page it links to. And then I can restrict page access to participants, which is also very, very cool because now you can save yourself time creating permissions with people. It usually takes a lot of time. So now we're saving time right here. Let us click create page. By the way, it saves all my selections for future. So I just have to do it once if I have uh, everything the same and I have open Confluence page right from here. If I, can, if I close it, I open it again open Confluence page. So I can go and I check my Confluence page right from here. Let's do it. Now here we are. It knows the date. It created a nice format so I can track my dates. It has a label scheduled. Then it has uh, time. It has meeting links so I can go and join the meeting right from here. It also tagged me. It didn't tag John because he's not here, but he, it tagged me very, very well. So we are done. I don't have to do anything else. The template is great. You can have goals, you can have discussion topics, you can have action items, decisions. Maybe let's add an action item for here. So let's say we have a meeting. Review budget. I'll just click update. Done. So saves me lots of time already. Okay. Let's say that John decided that he wants to do it the other day. So I just go inside my calendar and I'll just move it. So I moved it to tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Amazing. And I can just go and I can refresh this page. Look what happens. See, it changed to 28. This is very important because it's not only creating pages, it's managing those pages. When things changes, you have to keep on track, you have to update them. It takes lots of time, you get disorganized, and this saves you uh, an amazing amount of time. So let's say John say, you know what, what can I do it? I'm sick. So I go here. and I delete my meeting. Let me refresh the page again. Look, now the label is canceled. Automatically it canceled it out. It did not delete my page because I have important action items in there, but it canceled it. So now I know it was canceled. It actually very, very easy. And the name as well says canceled now so I can track it very, very easily. I love it. So now let's say we have a reoccurring meeting with, uh, with a team. Let's say it's a spring planning. Let's create that one. So if I go, let's say on Friday, which is not the best day for meetings, but let's say we have one and then we say sprint planning. I want to add John. I want to add Sally.
and I want to make this meeting reoccurring. So I go and I create repeat weekly on Friday. I save it, don't send. Now let's check it out. So I click add Confluence page. And now we have more options. It can be one page of entire meeting series, so it can keep on adding to a single page, or it can automatically create pages for future events three days in advance. So as long as you have those events, you don't have to create the page all the time. It will create it for you. So it saves you lots of time. I think that is an amazing feature. So let's click create page again. Let's do open Confluence page. And here we go, it created a parent for me, spring planning, and I will keep on adding everything right here. It's scheduled, everybody's here. Um, we can track it. You can open action items in a series. So let's say you have action items here. Let's go and create one as well. And I told you, Spectre, check the Confluence page. I update. So now I can open action items in the series right here. We can see right here, we'll track all of them here, whatever it's open, which is beautiful. You don't have to go for all the pages. You can go for the latest one and check all the action items. Then you can go to a main page as well. And then you can see that meaning in the series is added. So it's very easy to manage. Guys, it's been one week since I created my reoccurring spring planning meeting. And as you see, I have a new meeting note appear right here. I didn't do anything at all. And the cool thing about this is that you can scroll between them. So you can go to a next. You can go to a previous one. So you can easily scroll in between them, which is very, very useful if you have lots of them. And since you are here, let me quickly show you one more cool thing right here. So if I go to apps. I go to medical calendar. They have their own calendar that is synced to my Google calendar. It can be synced to Microsoft 365. And if you see a meeting, you can go on it and you can create a new page. You can link existing page and you can open it in your calendar as well. How cool is that? You don't have to go to your calendar. You can just be right here and do everything in one place. They also have a Chrome extension, which you need to install for this uh, Google Calendar to work, but it has more than that. So you can click on the medical uh, Chrome extension right here. It will show me all my action items from my space, so I can go check them out. It's gonna show me recently viewed pages. So it allows me a very quick access to everything I need, which is great. I can look at my complete action items, incomplete, and all those things are at the glance. I really love it. I think it's a great way to save time and uh, get this mundane work of printing meeting notes, make it very, very easy. The last thing I'm gonna show you is the Medical Atlassian page. So we can check out the pricing. We can see how to try it for free. Let's go there and I'll show you it in a second. So here it is. It works with Microsoft 365 with a Google Calendar. It's gonna show you how it's all done right here. Beautifully done page. And then we go to the pricing. For 10 people, it is completely free. If you're a huge company, let's say you have 1,000 people, then it's uh, 68 cents per user. So, guys, I want to tell you, this is a cool app. I highly recommend you click on the link down below, try it for free, and it saves lots of time. It makes mundane things easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed. Please put comments if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you next one. Bye-bye.